What's up, YouTube? I'm doing another tier list because, you know, I ran out of content ideas. Well, I don't even really make content in the first place, but that doesn't matter. What matters is this tier list. All right, I'm just going to dive right into it because I keep trying to do this. It's either way too long or it just sucks. So, yeah, let's start. All right. We all know how good this is. You know, if you've ever played with it, you're basically God. It makes you really slow, so I can't put it in the broken category because there are downsides, but it's still pretty freaking good. Alright, uh, this guy. Um, it's a great choice. It's got armor piercing, it does a ton of damage, it has a good amount of ammo if you tap fire. Yeah, it's a great choice. This sucks ass. Yeah, I really hate this thing. It weighs way too much. I mean, it's a good gun, but it weighs too much, in my opinion. I think it's a bad choice, always. Okay, the sniper. This is a good choice. I, I would say the snipers, and I'm gonna put them both in here. They're pretty good. Um, you can get the job done with them, but I, you know, I would choose other guns first. Okay, this pistol is so good. People don't use it, but it has a ton of ammo. There's no delay between shots, and you could reload the entire clip instantly. Okay, now we got a serious broken weapon. This thing is so good. It's unbelievably good. It lets you destroy Farmo. You can jump right through the window at the start. You don't have to go up that ladder or anything. It's an unbelievably good weapon. Uh, yeah, no, I love it. Okay, the Cerebral Boar. I'm not a big fan. Uh, yeah, it could do long range and it could home, but I, I think it sucks, personally. And it does five damage to you. Okay, this is really good. The Flamethrower, it's fantastic. You can clear out an entire level. It's not my favorite because you could hurt yourself, but, you know, besides that, it's pretty great. It does weigh a lot, though. Okay, Fishing Rod. I love to fish um, in this game. Also in real life, but more importantly in this game. It makes a lot of money at, you know, very late game. That's probably the best way to make millions, in my opinion. Until you build up enough money to where it's more profitable to do the stock market. So this is really great. Okay, ACR. Holy shit, this thing does everything, does everything. Kills targets, it can kill the HQ boss, it does everything, I, mean, I don't even need, if you played with this weapon, I don't need to explain to you why it's the best in the game. Okay, DNA gun, it's great, it's fantastic, you can get it in the first level, it weighs zero, it does infinite damage to non-armored enemies, so yeah, it's super good. Okay. This is one of my favorites. It might be my favorite weapon in the entire game, I think. Besides the baton, maybe. This weapon's just so darn good. It's got 30 in the clip, 90 in the reserve. It's fantastic. It does way too much damage. The burst fire, too. Yep. I love it. Okay, this guy. Funny thing about this weapon. And here we are with the flashlight. Its immense beams give me comfort in this dark, dark area. You know? And then I take out my uh, trusty bolt ACR that just does everything better. And yep, I can see everything. So I'm gonna go back to the flashlight now. <laughs> which yeah, which would you rather have? The entire fucking like Earth's atmosphere lit up, or just a fucking dinty little like Ooh, look? Yeah, no. I hope we all learned something from that really educational video. Um, yeah, no, I, I really think it sucks. Okay, next weapon. This guy's great. If you get this from the start, then you're happy. You can get it in Farmo, and this thing will take you right to the end of the game. It's, you know, it's a burst fire weapon. Every burst fire weapon in this game is incredible. Okay, a shotgun. I don't like shotguns in this game. I really don't. Um, except for one, which, you know, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. This thing's awesome. It weighs zero. It weighs zero, and it does insane damage up close. It's the best weapon for taking out the Archon Grid boss, in my opinion. So yeah, I'd put this in great choice. Uh, this guy... Mm, I hate it. I really think it's a waste of a slot. You're given one as your secondary stock weapon, but this would be the first weapon i trade out. I prefer the Silence Pistol to this any day. Um, I didn't finish talking about this, but like, it's... Who cares? Okay, so the pistol... This is terrible. This thing's awful. Yeah, it's kind of accurate and it does, you know, a good amount of damage, but the wind up 
you have to press the trigger and then it delays and then it shoots. No thank you. You know, it's the only gun or one of the only guns in the game that does that. Where it's, it's the delay before it shoots. The other one's the bullet ACR and that thing's incredible. So, I don't know, that thing sucks ass. Alright, this one. It's like the little brother to uh, this guy. It's I think it's still armor pierces. I'm going to put it in great choice. It is. It's got a ton of ammo. It's just, you, you run through that ammo really quickly if you hold down the fire button. This is so good. You can see that there's a lot of weapons in great choice. That's because there's a lot of weapons that are a great choice, you know. But whatever, this guy, the Minato, does so much damage. I, I also think it's silenced, so yeah, it has that going for it too. Okay, the Nailer. This thing's, like, probably the best normal gun in the game. It shoots nails, so it can't be used with the reflecting augment. But besides that, it's better than the BN99 in every single way. Not really. The BN99's got better damage, but this thing, it's more accurate. Um, or at least it feels more accurate. But yeah, I don't know. These two guns are similar in my mind. They fill a similar purpose. Uh, okay, this guy. I love it. You know, I wish I could put it in great choice, but it's simply not on the level of, of all these other guns. But personally, I'm biased. I would put it in great choice. But, you know, it's, it's starting pistol. It's silenced. It's pretty epic. Okay, this guy. Yeah, I'm not too... I don't really like this gun too much. I, it weighs too much, first of all. And it's just a less effective rocket launcher. You know? First of all, it, the, it's a projectile, it shoots a projectile um, that has gravity on it. The rocket launcher has no gravity on it. And, you know, while this is good, I can only think of about two places where this is really used end game, Like an idiot party, and then, um, Farmo. I'll put it in good, it's not quite meh. Alright, rocket launcher, this is probably the second best item in the game, if I had to guess. It might even be better than the ACR because it provides you movement too, but... I don't know. That, that's hard to argue for either of those, but I'm just going to say the ACR is better. Um, but the rocket launcher is fantastic. It's a, it's a game breaker. just completely breaks the game. Alright, sleep dart. I think it's terrible. It doesn't weigh anything, so it's not the worst choice in the world, but... Yeah, it's only good for like the HQ boss if you're trying to kill him unconventionally. But, you know, this gun would be a better way to do that. You'd rather just kill him with a golden bullet. Um, yeah, so this gun, in my opinion, is extremely underrated. It has the best armor pierce stat in the game, if I'm correct. I'm not positive on that, but I think that's true. So, if you ever see me in a speedrun blow up, you know, an armor-protected wall with this thing in like zero seconds, it's because this is the best gun in the game for that. So yeah, this thing is awesome. Okay, this guy. Uh, probably the best weapon in the game. Alright, this one. This is another great choice. It just does infinite damage. It doesn't armor pierce though, that's the only thing holding it back from being broken. You know, I think that the rocket launcher is the best armor piercing weapon in the game by far and this really is not on that level. So, yeah, if this armor pierce would be a different story though, I'd put it up in broken. Alright, so that's my list. Hope you all enjoyed. This is going to be my last Cruelty Squad tier list because there's literally nothing important to make. You know, if I think of something stupid, I might make a stupid tier list, but alright, that's it. Peace!